हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोना सी प्रॉब्लम थ्री फोर वन नाइन इट इज ऑफ टूडेज वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट मिनिमाइज द मैक्सिमम एज वेट ऑफ ग्राफ फर्स्टली टेल मी व्हाट हाउ मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स यू एबल टू सॉल्व एंड वॉट वॉज यूर टाइम ना द फोर्थ वन इज एक्चुअली बेस्ड बाई लिफ्टिंग विच इज इफ यू डोंट नो is a similar concept of how lcas are based now let's focus on this one it simply says that you are given two integers n and threshold as you can see if i show you i am given n and i am also given a threshold as a number now i have a directed weighted graph so obviously if it's a directed weighted graph i have these as edges from node 1 to node 0 a directed edge with having a weight of 1 this is what one of the edge means from node 1 to node 0 directed edge having a weight of 1 cool so this is node u this is node v and this is the corresponding weight of that corresponding node okay now uh they are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 and the graph is represented by a 2d integer array edges where edges of i as we have seen and it indicates that node ai to node bi with the weight wi uh you have to remove some edges from the graph and okay if if necessary you might remove none of them and it should satisfy the following condition which means the first condition is node 0 must be reachable from all other nodes so first thing is that this is the primary node for us and every node which means node 1 i should be able to reach 0 node 2 i should also be able to reach 0 but not necessarily directly i can maybe come like this but still i should be able to reach to node 0 same way from node 3 also i should be able to reach reach and same way for from node 4 also okay that's one thing which means each and every node i should be able to reach node 0 which means connection should be there okay second thing again make sure this condition will help me to verify that my count of reachable nodes should be equal to n right again when i say n which means i am able to visit all the nodes this is one condition which i will have to verify in the code or maybe right now now the maximum edge weight in the resulting graph is minimized okay as you can see that you you have a chance to remove some node now if you did not remove any node in this specific configuration so first condition is met you are able to reach from every node you are able to reach zero so first condition is met okay second condition is if you did not remove any node the maximum node in this entire graph is 2 can you somehow minimize the maximum maximum node in the entire graph yes you can how remove this node still the first condition is valid now the maximum node is 1 thus you have to try minimizing that specific thing right which is the maximum node last condition is each node has at most threshold number of edges outgoing edges now this is a very 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 important condition because this will make this problem complex or easy how you assume this problem each node has at most threshold number of outgoing edges let's firstly see what the threshold limit is let's come down threshold limit is okay as you can see starting at least one node will always be there and then obviously i can have at max n minus 1 neighbors because i have n minus 1 corresponding neighbors to me and with those neighbors i will have n minus 1 edges from one node so this is what they have given us as a threshold but if you focus on very carefully they are saying one node will always be there which means one specific edge i can always take and if you look very carefully isn't it simply that from one node why do i even need to have two edges why do i even need to have two edges isn't it unnecessary to have two edges from one node because obviously let's say from this node i am able to reach at the end okay send for this node why do i need two edges no matter where ever it is trying to go i can actually have one edge and just to understand the same thing in a different manner you can simply say that for every node in this entire graph i will try to go forward and 
while going forward and again for me only one edge is required to reach to that specific node now when i say reach to that node which means from two to reach to zero only one edge is required any one edge if it can give me i'm good i'm good right now okay when i say any one edge which means i did not consider the minimum thingy then you might have a question then Aryan, how will you handle this because now handling these two conditions simultaneously is actually the tricky part why this problem is a bit more hard again all the mark is medium but a bit hard okay let's raise the last line return the minimum possible value of the maximum edge weight after removing the necessary edges and if it is impossible return a minus one okay so far we realize that we have to minimize we have to minimize the maximum edge weight but if we go on and try let's see okay i know the maximum edge weight right now in this entire graph is two but obviously i am super greedy what i would do okay i know the weight starts from one so i will simply say in the very beginning that the weight starts from one i will try is it possible that i can achieve the minimum weight of one if not okay try for a higher weight if not try for a higher weight if not try for a higher weight up till what value up till the value what is the maximum weight in this entire graph did you see some pattern if i'm able to achieve a weight of let's say five which means with the weight of five i am able to reach from every node to the node zero if i'm able to reach i will say yes i am lucky i am happy okay so obviously with this pattern if we go in a linear traversal from the minimum weight to a better weight or i should say to a uh, higher weight higher is not better than remember that part lesser is better so if i go from a minimum weight to a higher weight obviously i'm doing a linear search and i know if i do a linear search although the complexities are a lot even if i'm doing a linear search that will help me to try for the minimum weight possible but for this condition and this condition let's focus on the first condition for the first condition it says that from all the other nodes which means from the n minus one nodes you have to try and reach you have to try and reach this specific node which is the node zero how do you check from one node if i ask you a simple question from one node let's say node one if you have to reach to node zero if i ask you can you help me tell that will you be able to reach from node one to node zero how will you tell me either you will run a dfs or a bfs traversal and then if you are able to visit this node zero after traversing node one you will say okay Arin, i am able to visit node zero from node one but you have to repeat this bfs dfs from all the n minus one nodes each bfs dfs takes roughly o of n time again when i say n i mean roughly v plus e even if you consider o of n time here you will say that on doing a linear traversal on each weight as a consideration when i say consideration i mean when i say weight as five i am saying that all the weights lesser than five will remain in my graph all the weights higher than five will not be there because i'm only concerned about when i say weight as five i am saying the maximum weight in this entire graph which i can assume right now is five anything higher than five no remove it so if i would have said that the weight as one then anything higher than one remove it and then build the graph after building the graph from all the ms1 nodes run this bfs or dfs you will see i'll run the bfs but then if you're able to achieve it okay good good when i say good okay stop there if not then try for a higher weight value so obviously trying for all possible weights will be the weight count n minus one nodes obviously and then doing a bfs will be obviously n plus e what is this <laughs> the weight value if you look back down the weight value is 1e6 my n value number of nodes in this entire tree 1e5 <laughs> you are already exceeding things and then even if i consider the number of edges which i could have in the entire thing it is n minus 1 by 2 
n into n minus 1 by 2 although they should have given a limit also uh, no they have not given it okay no worries okay 1 e 5 they have given it so I can simply say as 1 e 5 this you see it's giving theory so there are two bottlenecks here first bottleneck is trying for all possible weight configurations obviously you see that there's a pattern here wrong 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 right 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 which is simply can tell me that instead of doing a linear search let's do a binary search so i can convert this to a log w okay this is gone but even if i convert it to log w i still see that this will give still ple now this is a very standard technique which we use whenever we want to do traverse from multiple nodes to some destination this is also called as multi-source bfs right in multi-source bfs what happens is that from multiple sources you try to run to a point and just to understand the same thing easily what you can also say is from the destination i will try to run towards again when i say from the destination which means i have to reverse the edges so make sure that part you remember but from the destination i can simply do a single bfs and will try to see can i visit all of the nodes or not so now the problem rather than doing a bfs from n minus one nodes i will rather do a bfs from just one node which is node zero and again bfs takes n plus e time this is bounded by 1e5 thus this thing is now converted to only 1e5 thus my time complexity will simply become v plus e log w how by simply again for every binary search weight value it will say me that firstly remove all the edges which have a weight more than four now for all the remaining edges which have a weight less than or equal to 4 make sure to reverse their edges right reverse their edges reverse their edges reverse their edges reverse their edges and now simply run a bfs from node 0 and check the reachable node count reachable node count should be equal to n when i say n i mean including myself if that is the case this this is a good configuration and then i will try for a lesser w value which means i will try to minimize my weight as much as possible and that is the only crux of how you can solve this problem again why this problem is tricky is because you have to handle all the conditions simultaneously now the first condition is handled the second condition we are trying to do by binary search the last condition you will see as i mentioned previously i just need one edge they are saying not go beyond the threshold but i am inside the threshold range i am always inside the threshold range so if i'm at inside the threshold range obviously i know that i will have at least one edge if i'm able to reach to a node obviously i will have one edge to reach when i start a bfs from node sorry when I start up BFS from node 0 and if I'm able to reach node 2, obviously I would have at least one edge and I will say, okay, I need only one edge. That's it. So that is the reason automatically condition 3 will also be satisfied. Cool. Let's see the code. It's exactly very same as what we discussed. Firstly, uh, I will have my maximum weight, which I could have. Again, this is, I will use it to have a binary search range. Although in binary search range, I can put this minimum W as one and maximum and maximum w is 1e6 i can put up by default also one and 1e6 but if i want to you know uh purify or you know uh make it much better i can actually find what is the maximum weight in my entire edges what is the minimum weight in my entire edges and that will help me to do a binary search in that range i will find the mid i will check if it is possible if it is possible then try for a lesser weight so i will reduce my edge if it is not possible then then try for a higher weight value i will increase my l and if it is possible make sure to put the answer as this corresponding weight is possible now if i show you the is possible thing i just mentioned that in the is possible this is the maximum weight allowed which means that all the weights in this specific edges make sure you 
ignore all the weights higher than this maximum weight and for all the weights reverse the edges and build a graph so i will build a reverse graph you know a simple adjacency list firstly i will just again this is a simple java thingy that you have to initialize with the empty array list then i went and iterated on all the edges i checked it just update my reverse graph with only the edges having the weight less than equal to my maximum weight then as you can see i am building a reverse edge from v to u again reverse directed edge then a simple bfs having a visited having a queue just putting the node zero in the queue the count of one indicates one node in the entire graph which i have traversed right now why i need it i need it because i want to make sure i am able to reach all the nodes which means the count should be n why n because one count is already counted for the node zero and then if while the queue is not empty make sure that uh, you get the corresponding current node you go to all of its neighbors if it is not visited simply visit the neighbor put that in the queue and increase the count and ultimately with that you will be able to solve your question in the time of o of v plus e log max w and space as you can simply see here i am using no extra space here also i'm using no extra space but i am building a graph i'm building a reverse graph and reverse graph is built with these edges so the edges as my space will be used here cool i hope you guys got it i hope you got the essence and the gist of how we thought of and how we put up each and every individual point and reach to an answer if you guys liked it and want to see more such contest videos please like and comment down below again uh we try to make the videos but we get very less engagement that's the reason we have to shrink the number of problems which we are discussing if you keep on liking and having a bit more again just share with your friends do anything but yeah that will be pretty much awesome bye bye take care